Crane? You're Crane, right? Kyle Crane? Yeah. Erwin Snowberg, movie director. I make these... Uh, no. Yeah, they're thought-provoking meditations about people very much like yourself who have to kill buttloads of zombies for what is important. And when you blow them apart with guns, <laughs> those squibs cost like... So you've come to Haran. It's... All I need is a gun nut who can... Jafar, Rice's man really found something. Something valuable? Yeah, is dynamite worth a lot? Dynamite is gold. We could cook you up something special with that. Kurt's a natural when it comes to this stuff. All right, one pack for you, the rest for me. Kurt will figure out how to give it some oomph. We'll be in touch. Away. This doesn't concern you. Are you me. kidding me? Send
Crane. Until now, you were lucky. But today is the day of truth. Truth, huh? So you're finally gonna admit you're slower than I am? <laughs> you have me in stitches. Still think you can beat me? Without even half trying. So do it. Okay, hotshot, put up or shut up. I proved you wrong, Crane. You're the number two runner in the tower, at best. But, if you want to show me something different, hey, feel free to try again. Okay, Hotshot, put up or shut up. I proved you wrong, Crane. You're the number two runner in the tower, at best. But, if you want to show me something different, hey, feel free to try again. His men have been hauling boxes out of that place for hours. We need to get a closer look. What's in the boxes? Good question. If it's answers in, we need it.
shit. Bandits are inside. I only saw the ones that went in after Tahir, but I'm sure there's more. We should use different entrances. We'll cover more ground, and we'll make less noise moving separately.
Saw Tahir at the school. He and his men were hauling all kinds of stuff out of there. The hell are they up to? Anyway, the fucker executed some survivors right in front of us. Nearly saw us. Time to sneak into that building. I hope there's some antizen in there somewhere. Okay, Jade, I'm inside. Check the classrooms. That's the most likely place for them to store supplies. They should be marked somehow. Military jargon is pretty straightforward, so it shouldn't be hard to notice.
Jade, no luck with any antizen. Looks like we'll have to talk about that other option. I still have classroom C to search, though. The basement's pretty big. Find the key. I'll meet you down there. Someplace safe. Do it now.
hand here, would you? Yeah, sure. God, Crane, you're such an old. Why don't you just stick your head out the door and shout, Here we are, come get us! Hey, sometimes there's nothing wrong with a direct approach. Holy shit. That's plastic explosives, right? Listen, you take this stuff and get back to the tower. I'll deal with these assholes. Don't be ridiculous. We'll fight them together. And risk letting them keep this much ordinance? No, just go. I got this. Meet me back at the tower. Promise me you won't let Rahim near that high. What? Yeah, of course. I promise. I promise. Just go. Shit. Jade and I went looking for Antizen and found explosives instead. Now we need to get the hell out of here before Tahir comes back. But right now, let's deal with these explosives, okay? Okay, listen. I'll give the explosives to Saeed and you talk to Rahim. Make sure he stays away from that hive. Will do. Don't worry. Don't worry? Right.
Jade called me. She's taking the explosives to Saeed. She wanted me to talk to Rahim about the volatile hive and how she wants him to stay the hell away from it. Kren, Saeed told me about the explosives you guys found. How perfect is that? Jade gave them to him. Saeed used to be on a bomb squad, so he knows about that stuff. Yeah, kid. That was a lucky find. Would've been better to turn up some antizen, though. My buddy Omar is making sure Saeed's putting good timers on those things. We have to be able to get our asses out of there before they blow. Whoa, we? There, there's no we in this. I, I mean, yeah, that nest needs to go, and now it's possible, but... But if it gets done, I'm doing it on my own. But... it's my plan. And I will execute it perfectly, I promise. But... Ah, oh, shit. There's no use arguing with you, is there? Fine. I'll contact you as soon as Saeed's finished with the charges. Raheem, do we have a deal? I guess. Do we have a deal? Yes. We have a deal. Okay, one more thing. I keep seeing this bizarre kind of infected. Is Dr. Zera out at his trailer? I'd like to talk to him about it. Nah, he's down in sickbay visiting Dr. Lina. Thanks, kid. I'll see you soon. Hey, Doc, you got a minute? Oh, it's, uh, Kane. Yes. Um, how can I help you? A crane. Remember when I told you about that weird infect that I saw? You know, the one who took one look at me and hauled ass away? Yeah, well, I just saw another one, and it did the same thing. Hmm. I believe I have heard your colleagues talk about those creatures. Bolters, they call them. Apparently, they favor certain areas of town over others, but only appear at night. 
I don't suppose you could catch one and bring me a sample of its flesh. You see, a thought occurred to me. A long shot, I realize. But if these creatures favor areas where I left my experimental bait, well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Please do obtain a sample, but it has to be fresh. So you have to get it back to me quickly. Okay, and where exactly do I find these things? I'm told that Quartermaster chap has been keeping track of them. Seems there's some survivors at the bazaar, and the witch is one of them. Guess if anyone's gonna bullshit their way to safety, it's gonna be Dahlia, right? <laughs> Did you say she's a witch? She says she's a witch. She claims the infected won't even touch her, because of her voodoo hocus-pocus. They say she walked clean across the city without getting touched, at night. Maybe she knows something we don't. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe she's just completely full of shit. I saw some people in this school. Got to wonder what they were doing there. Zera asked me to bring him a sample from that bolter I saw in front of the school. He said they'd been spotted in specific areas of the city, so I should focus my search in those places. He also said I needed to get that sample back to him while it was still fresh. So I gotta move. can receive transmissions from all the districts. Rahim's electronic parts. <laughs> Don't expect the radios to work any better. The truth is, Rahim is trying to build a robot runner. He gets these crazy ideas in his head. The scouts have seen people entering the school. Something's going on there. What can I do for you? Doc Zera says you know where I should look for these, uh, bolters. Super fast infected, covered in big green blisters. Oh yeah, yeah. I can point you in the right direction. Here, here, and here. Though you ask me, if trouble don't come looking for you, no reason to go looking for trouble. <laughs> Words to live by, thanks. assist you. You're a regular saint, you are. I couldn't stand watching our kids starving. Hey, 
What's up, Spike? Just FYI, if you need me, I'll be at the ferry station up in Morgan to prep the barge. Strangest thing, he said he got shaken down by some young man who sounded an awful lot like you. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Hey, I, I gotta run. I'll talk to you later, Spike. This is Crane. Is that you, Tolga? Uh, he wants to talk to us. Well, I don't want to talk to him. I repeat, you are ordered to come immediately. That is all. Shut off the radio. Right. I just want to talk. Try listening. The first bullet goes over your head. The next one goes through it. Stop it, Edward. You don't want to scare off someone who might be willing to help us. We don't know this arsehole from a plate of falafel. Don't argue with me. Let him in. Seems Errol wants to talk to you. There won't be any trouble. Do I look worried? Scared to death. He's perceptive. Come in. Come in. <laughs> <laughs> 